the backdrop with the shelves and stuff back against this wall. All right guys, some of the lights just came in. They look sick. I haven't really done much with them yet, but they're gonna be all over these shelves soon. So boom, yeah, that's a major addition to the studio right here. We will be opening this and then we also got this. Uh, I think this was 15 or 20, um, but it does come with the Cosmic Eclipse pack. We pulled something insane guys, but let's go ahead and get this box open and see what we get. Cherubi, a Rylu. Oh! What is going on guys? Welcome back to the video. This is the one y'all have been waiting for for a while. In today's video, I am showing you the complete setup of our brand new studio where we will be opening Pokemon and everything. We've moved everything over here. So everything's gonna be taking place in this room now, guys. I think it came out really cool. We spent a ton of money and made it look really good. So the video you're about to watch is basically a montage of a six month, five to six month span of me setting up the room, putting everything together. So yeah, I think y'all are gonna enjoy it. Maybe this will give y'all an idea if you ever wanna do a studio, whether it's Pokemon or anything, if y'all wanna do YouTube in the future. The room is not 100% done. It's about like 90% done. So in the future, y'all will see like posters and stuff going up on the wall. We haven't really got those yet. But other than that, it looks crazy sick, guys. I'm super excited with how it came out. We do open an awesome box of Pokemon at the end of this video. So if y'all wanna see that, we got some crazy pulls. I think you're gonna enjoy it, but make sure y'all drop a like for me because this is literally like a dream come true, guys. And subscribe to the channel because we're doing big things here, boys. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Let's get into it. so this is what the future studio is gonna look like it is completely empty right now but the plan is to have some desk over here the backdrop with the shelves and stuff back against this wall and then have like maybe some pictures and stuff some cool lights everywhere so yeah let's start creating the room all right guys the shelves have arrived they will be going on this back wall behind me just carried these all upstairs it was a ton to carry but yeah we're gonna go ahead and set them up and wait for the other stuff to get here Let's go. All right, about three hours later, we do have all the shelves up against the wall. Total mess over here. Gotta clean that up. And then we're waiting for the desk. All right, guys, two out of three of the desks have arrived. I'm gonna set them up. We're gonna have a huge space for opening. I will show you all that in like two seconds. Let's go. All right, guys, the room is really starting to come together. We just got the chair in the mail. I don't wanna spoil it yet, but it is Marvel. So I'll put this up and we'll keep going. All right, guys, we just got another package. I believe this is our studio lighting, so we should have some crazy lighting in here soon. Actually uploading a video right now. By the time y'all see this one, this will have already posted probably a few weeks ago. So go check this one out if you haven't seen it, and I'm gonna set these up. All right, guys, so these lights actually came in this cool, like, suitcase looking thing. I haven't opened it yet, so let's go ahead and pop this open and see what we got in here. All right, let me lay this down real quick. I just want to show you all this one because these are pretty cool. I think they're like 170 bucks. So there they are, guys. They're, they're like gonna be on stands basically, and these will like be aimed. So the flash from my phone will no longer be reflecting off the cards. It should look a lot better. And then I'll also have one on my face. So yeah, I'm gonna set these up, boys. All right, guys, while I was setting up the lights over there, we actually got another package in the mail, and this is kind of a little fun one, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so I opened it up, and this is all we got in the package, so I'll put a picture on screen of what I thought I was getting. It should have a cool light bulb that comes out of the top. Um, it's not their fault. It actually says it doesn't include the bulb on there, but this thing is like 15 bucks just for the base, so uh, I think we're going to return this and look for a different type of lamp, but we will keep setting up the room, and it's looking cool so far. We got those going, and... It's looking crazy, y'all. Let's go. All right, guys, I am editing up this studio video right now. So this is present time. I forgot to throw this clip in, but this is the stand that will hold my camera over here, like my face cam. Um, it's pretty cool. It mounts to the desk over here. So yeah, guys, that, that's a really cool part of the studio as well. But yeah, we set that up a while ago. I just forgot to record it. Back to the vid. All right, guys, some of the lights just came in. They look sick. I haven't really done much with them yet, but they're going to be all over these shelves soon. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. 
All right, boys, we got some more fun stuff to set up in the room, so check it out. We got two big boxes right here. I'm gonna open these up and I will show y'all what we got. All right, guys, there it is. I have to let it fluff up, but we did get two giant bean bags for the room and they are freaking gigantic. You can see next to Riley, they're pretty big guys. So they still have to fluff up and everything, but I think one's gonna go in this corner and then one is probably gonna go over here. So pretty cool guys. And we still got a bunch of stuff. It's literally a mess in here right now, but we got a bunch more to go. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, literally just had a nosebleed. So please ignore that. But as you can see, the shelves behind me are pretty empty. I'm moving a bunch of the stuff over here. The room is a freaking mess right now guys, but we are about to get to work on these shelves so first of all what's going on with them if y'all can see here they're like not lining up perfectly so first i'm going to screw those together and then i'm going to drill some holes through and hopefully get all these lights set up on them to make it look super cool guys so i will see y'all in a few hours for me it's only going to be a couple seconds for y'all and then you will see what it looks like it should look sick so stay tuned all right guys little update still working on the shelves but we do have these screws in here now they're like up in there and what those are doing is keeping this flush and this flush so now the shelves look better from the side they're all good to go now what i'm doing is under all these shelves i'm going to be screwing holes for or these lights to be able to go through and i want them coming through the shelf so it goes along the entire thing and then they're going to come down and go through another one should look really cool guys this is a whole lot so let's see what the finished product looks like all right guys and there it is the lights are all set up it took me like probably a straight hour to do it i'll go ahead and show y'all so they're like right under there drilled the holes put them through the holes so it looks super freaking clean and then in the back let's see so they come up like the sides of the back a little bit and stuff but it looks freaking awesome guys so i'm gonna put all the pokemon crap back on the shelves and then boom yeah that's a major addition to the studio right here i think it looks great guys super super happy with how this one came out all right guys one of the main reasons this video got postponed a little bit is because we can't do this video without the cactus jack sign so we're gonna put it up over on this wall right here and then the room should pretty much be done guys so stay tuned all right guys got the studio light on over there but we just put this up on the wall and i think it's looking really good guys we drilled it in and then we capped these over with some silver things just to make it look clean right there that's where the screws are going in and then back here this is how i'm doing the cording I haven't done this part until the end when I push the uh, shelf up against the wall, but this cord right here is pretty clean. So it's going to come right here and then I stuck this to the wall. This is the switch for it. This will go down. You can see the cord against the back. It's just going to go straight over there, guys. And then there is, there's one more little control panel for it. So it's kind of ugly right here, but I used white tape so you can't really see it from far away. And then this will come up and we're gonna run a black cord up through here all the way down and it will plug into there and then the rest of the cords get hidden under here. So it should look really good guys. Uh, we're close to being done with this part of it. And then I will light this guy up for you. Stay tuned boys. All right guys, the light should be all set up over here. I think it's hidden really well. So again, the cord goes up down and around and then we got this guy for some settings right there i know that's not the best part of it but still okay and then that had to sit on the shelf and then the cord again is like hidden down here comes around and goes in there guys so let's go ahead and flick it see if it turns on okay yeah guys you can see the green light right there let me show you from this side here it is boys the cactus jack studio sign reveal dude that thing is Epic, bro. Let me walk back here real quick. So you guys are basically gonna get this kind of angle in my openings from now on. So this is what you'll see. I thought it was a really cool placement for it back there. And then there's also some other settings I can show y'all real quick. This is what this little controller is for right here. Okay, so that one is brightness. So yeah, there are some settings for it right there, guys. That one's like a little flicker. That one's actually really nice. That, that one might be good for videos another like flicker oh god jesus christ but yeah boys that is the cactus jackson i think it came out super good in the studio it was almost completely done guys stay tuned
All right, guys, had to make another quick little video. It is present day again because I forgot to add, uh, I forgot to record two shots of some other stuff I did get. We also got this trash can down here that, you know, it's just to like throw, when I'm opening stuff, I can just throw it in there easily. And then we also have this desk mount right here. Um, this will be what my phone goes in when I'm opening packs. So that's gonna be looking down at the cards. And then I think one of the last things I missed was probably these floor mats on the ground. They just go under these rolly chairs right here. Uh, it keeps the carpet from like getting damaged. So we got two of those as well. So pretty cool. But yeah, guys, also this video has been extremely stressful for me. I spent about three to four hours already editing this the first time. The footage got deleted right when I finished it because my Mac ran out of space and then iMovie just trashed it. I literally don't know what happened, but it took me forever. I was like downloading all these different softwares to try to find the video and everything I, I couldn't find it it is the super bowl night and i am editing this video while the super bowl is on so please drop a like for me guys i am investing so much hard work into this video and it would mean a ton so please drop a like but yeah back to the video and we're about to do a bunch of pokemon openings let's go boys all right guys i am literally freaking out right now because i wanted something insanely cool to open in our first ever opening in the brand new studio so yeah i was gonna do the ultra premium collection but i don't think it's gonna get here on time i wasn't even planning on doing this video this soon of opening in the new studio and like setting it up and making this full transition to the new studio i was actually planning on doing this like two or three weeks later but i was setting up the studio and moved everything over here so then i finally realized it clicked in my brain that i have to open here now because that whole process took like two hours itself to move everything in here i don't want to have to be moving everything back so now we're here now we're in the new studio and we we need something insanely cool to open so guys i got all my bulk over here i'm gonna be taking this up to the gaming store we're gonna turn it in for some credits and hopefully we can pick something out cool up there maybe some hidden fates i know y'all wanted to see that really bad i'm not really sure yet but we got to get it today i can't really order anything because it's probably not going to get here on time so yeah guys we're bulking this out taking it up gonna get some credits back and then get something really cool to open in the new studio i'll see you there peace boys all right guys we just finished bulking all of this it took about 45 minutes these are all completely filled up except for this one um that one yeah so we're missing a little bit out of that one but we have one two three four five completely filled ones and then these have some like reverse rares and stuff so let's go turn them in and see what we can get all right guys what is up we are now here and about to get into wasteland gaming we've, uh, we've done a few videos here where we take our bulk up here and get some money back guys don't forget we are opening for the first time ever in the brand new studio at the end of this video so stay tuned for that and um yeah boys let's get in here and get some money guys not a bad trade at all we took our bulk up to wasteland gaming we got 79 dollars in store credit um this was 65 but we got more in store credit so i'm not really worried about it we will be opening this and then we also got this uh, i think this was 15 or 20 um but it does come with the cosmic eclipse pack uh that's a big fat dub but we basically just took our bulk i ended up paying 12 dollars out of pocket and got both of these not bad at all guys but yeah i'll see you in the studio what is up guys we are about to do our first ever opening in the brand new pokemon studio i hope it looks good for y'all on camera i'm super excited with how everything came out and i hope y'all enjoyed the montage of us putting everything together we also went out i was super stressed guys because i had to get something super cool for y'all in a flash but we did pick up this jolteon v max box and this pokeball right here so i'm gonna get these products open and we will jump right into this first ever opening let's go boys
right guys so we now have everything out of the package those promo cards are literally insane make sure y'all stay towards the end and i will reshow them while we do the recap but here we go guys we got one pack of fusion one chilling rain one rebel clash two fusion one evo skies and one vivid voltage so actually a pretty good variety of stuff here guys hopefully we can get a big hit for this first opening um we still have packs in the pokeball tin too i actually forgot to take those out but we'll just go ahead and get straight into it here guys starting off with a fusion strike let's see if we can do some damage guys let me know in the comments right now what do you think of the new studio i think it's super super freaking sick i love the cactus jack sign in the back on the wall i know it's a little blurred also let me let me know that in the comments as well guys should i blur the background or do you guys want to see um like a clear visual of everything that's back there on the wall and stuff because it is pretty cool we got a leaf energy right here excadrill a trevenant a trainer a mankey a krogunk panseer a gumi aracuda a reverse and a Gudra for pack number one so nothing right there guys i actually have to readjust this camera real quick so give me one second and then we'll hop back into this opening all right guys so here we are we uh we readjusted the camera i've actually got more of like a straight down angle for y'all let me know how y'all feel about that too guys right now we're kind of just testing the water with the new studio um trying to see how everything's gonna work how everything's gonna look on camera right now which i will get a better picture for when i'm editing this video of course y'all are watching it right now so y'all can see exactly how it looks so let me know any any criticism y'all have i am completely open to everything like that so here we go guys let's go ahead and turn this pack around and do our card trick four cards going up front then we'll turn it around and let's see what we can get here boys so we got a dark energy a don't know how to say that one an eldegas a trainer a stuffle um sigalith a toxel right here toto dial a bunnery a helioptile and oh look at that that's a new pull for us that is really cool right there guys the chandelure v so super super cool coming out of fusion strike this will definitely be going in the recap pile but not a bad hit boys that that's a pretty cool card i really want to see the shiny of that in pokemon go so not too bad that's our first hit coming out of this absolutely gorgeous box and guys i did not want to open this box y'all don't know how bad i wanted to see this thing on the shelf back there and have it on display because it is such a beautiful freaking box but i had to do it guys for the brand new studio we had to open something crazy and this is what we're going with guys i think i might have seen something in this pack so let's go ahead and see here guys four cards going to the front i felt like i saw some silver too so we might be able to get a big hit out of this vivid voltage pack rainbow chunk chew would be absolutely freaking insane but here we go guys in eevee we got a trubbish a little halloween vibe going on a shuppet chutel oh look at that not even too bad at all guys amazing rare celebi super super cool card right there and oh oh my god look at that card guys that is a gorgeous gorgeous freaking ampharos wow dude that is a beautiful beautiful card ampharos v coming out of vivid voltage pack dude this box is giving us some pretty good hits right now um i've seen some videos of people opening up these boxes and like they're trash dog like from what i've seen at least the hit rates are like really really bad in it that's why i wanted to get the pokeball too but dude we are getting some epic stuff right now so that is not too bad at all guys definitely drop a like for the insane full art Ampharos coming out of Vivid Voltage right there. We got a pack of Chilling Rain right now. Can we do some more damage or is that going to be it for this box? Because guys, like I said, um, I've seen people up open a ton of these boxes and they never really get anything too good. But let's see if we can do some more stuff here. We got a Sneasel, a Weedle, Porygon, Galarian Farfetch'd up against the tree, a cast form, Galarian Mask, and a Galarian Surfetch. So nothing out of Chilling Rain. That's totally fine, guys. Moving on to our next pack, Rebel Trash. Rebel Trash. But that's okay, too, because we saved Evolving Skies for the last pack. But it's not going to be the last pack open in this video, guys. Don't forget, we got some more stuff coming out of that Pokeball. But here we go, guys. Let's turn it around and do our card trick. One, two, three, and four. 
Wow, the Amphros is our first big hit ever in the new studio, and that's a cool car, guys. I, I don't open uh, Vivid Voltage much, but I've looked at the set list before, and Amphros has always been one of those cards that I'm like, I really want to pull that thing because the background is so pretty. Um, Galarian Darmanitan, so nothing out of Rebel Trash. That's okay with us. We weren't too worried about it. This is a set we would love to see a hit come out of Evolving Skies. Very, very, very beautiful set, guys. We've been pulling a ton of stuff from it. We've got some alt arts from it now. But, um, dude, a set I was not trying to collect a master set for was Fusion Strike. And we had to open up so much Fusion Strike while we were hunting down the alternate arts that, uh, like, I think I'm pretty close to a master set now, guys. So, should I go for it or should I not? Like, I don't really like the set Fusion Strike. It obviously has some banger cards in it, but it's just not like a set I really love. Should I go for that or should I um, wait till Brilliant Stars? Y'all let me know. I'm melodic. So, yeah, not, not a ton of pulls out of that box, but we did get some big ones. So, that's a dub right there, guys. Let's go ahead and open this Pokeball up now and see what we can get out of here. So we do get another Vivid Voltage pack, a Cosmic Eclipse, what a banger, and another pack of Rebel Trash. Let's move this Pokeball tin off to the side and let's see what we can do here, guys. We'll start off with the pack of Rebel Trash. Here we go, boys, getting into it right here. Guys, we're about to hit 800 freaking subs. That is insane, guys. 800 subs on the channel. Um, this is literally a dream come true like opening in the studio and stuff guys so make sure you all subscribe we're doing another giveaway for 800 subs so subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notifications if you want to be a part of that and have a chance to win the giveaway we do really cool stuff but here we go we got a phantom a bundle b impidimp a growlith reverse and a trevenant so nothing out of that pack either totally fine with us and here we go guys a pack of vivid voltage right here can we get something i'm feeling it in this pack guys i i'm gonna call it right now a rainbow i'm calling it right now guys we're about to get a rainbow out of this pack of vivid voltage i'm not saying if it's the rainbow chunk of you or not but i'm calling a rainbow so let's see if we can do it guys getting the pack open right here let's toss that off to the side let me give you all this code card Turning the pack around. I don't know if I saw anything in this pack or not, but you never know, boys. So let's go and let's see if we can do something. We got a Leaf Energy, another energy right there, a Trainer, Galarian Stunfist, Galarian Meowth, a Cottony, a Ninkata, Aracuda, a Picky Peck, a Reverse, and oh, oh, I feel like I do see some guys. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Oh, that's some silver. That That's a good sign right there. Here we go, boys. What is it going to be? Oh, look at that. Not even too bad. Another floor, guys. A Galarian Surfetched V right there. Another absolutely gorgeous card. Oh, my gosh. Drop a like for the hits we are getting in today's video, guys. We got some really cool stuff, and y'all are probably about to want to kill me. But as y'all know, I'm working on a custom booster box right now, and I really want a Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, Cosmic Eclipse pack to be in that custom booster box. We're probably going to do that booster box opening at a thousand subs. So I got to start saving some packs. So I am going to put this one away for that custom booster box. But guys, I will be right back and I'll see you in the recap. All right, guys. So jumping into today's recap, we have some absolutely insane cards to show off. We'll go ahead and start off with this jumbo with the Jolteon VMAX. Guys, look at all the detail in this card with the little town down there and stuff absolutely freaking gorgeous jolteon card super super glad i picked up this box to add these cards to my collection we also got this jolteon v promo right here another gorgeous one in the city it just looks amazing guys like these are so detailed and if i'm not mistaken these are probably the first alternate art promo cards ever uh the, the cards coming out of these three ev lucian boxes so that's really cool as well and then we get the smaller version of that jumbo just they're so gorgeous guys let me know your favorite between jolteon vaporeon and flareon jolteon is mine that's why we chose this one and then we picked up a celebi amazing rare out of vivid voltage i love amazing rares so can't go wrong there then we got this v card um out of fusion strike this is a new one for us so definitely a dub right there cool pokemon and then boom a galarian sir fetch only our first of two full arts that we pulled in today's video beautiful background in that one with all the blue and the orange down here 
in the orange down here. And then my favorite card of today's opening, guys, this Ampharos V coming out of Vivid Voltage. What an insane pull. I really love this card. I love the bluish, greenish background. So, yeah, guys, we, we definitely got some bangers in the first opening ever in the new studio. Let me know what y'all thought. And, yeah, guys, thanks for coming. What is going on, guys? The video is not over yet. It is actually Saturday, February 12th when I'm recording this. The rest of the video that you've watched so far was, uh, like, two weeks ago. That That's when it was recorded recorded of me putting the studio together. I mean, of course, that was like the last five, six months or whatever. But um, yeah, boys, I wanted to add this into this video because I did disappear for like a week while I was working on everything in the background. And I feel like y'all deserved a ton of openings. So yeah, boys, and this is the first technical studio opening ever other than our um, the Brilliant Stars we did post a few days ago. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. We pulled something insane, guys. But let's go ahead and get this box open and see what we get. Right, guys here we go let's get it open oh here's the back if y'all haven't seen that but let's see what we get in the last box i opened this was the promo we got we got a lucario brilliant stars stamp promo so pretty cool i i still don't know what the other three are but let's see if we can get something cool oh no boys we got a lucario again there's nothing wrong with Luca lucario fire fire pokemon but i did kind of want to see what one of the other ones were i that's why i didn't look them up or anything yet but here we go guys we got our four booster packs right here let's see if we get all different ones this time we got a shaman a charizard arceus and whimsicott so we did get all four of the different one boys let's just go ahead and get straight into this opening i'll try to keep it uh quick for y'all this video is probably going to run about 30 minutes dude Th this video is going to be so long guys i actually edited this entire video the other day i went to download it and the second i clicked the download button i like walked away from the computer while it was downloading i come back and the video says zero seconds long so i spent like an hour looking all over my computer for the full video that i had just edited it took about three or four hours to edit and it was nowhere to be found guys insane but look there's the new energy guys i think it looks sick but um yeah so i'm like downloading all these softwares to try to find the video but it was just completely gone so i do have to re-edit this video it's not going to be fun boys but that's uh half of the reason i disappeared and then other than that we were just you know taking a break for season three and everything it's going to be insane guys a reverse and an infernape so another hit a little hollow hit right there not too bad that's a pretty cool card so we will slide that off to the side and continue this opening of brilliant stars guys comment below your chase card right now what are y'all going for again if y'all haven't seen my other video brilliant stars my chase card is going to be probably most people's for this set i want the charizard and venusaur guys that card is too freaking fire so that's what we're definitely shooting for but if y'all haven't seen the full set list, I mean, there's some insane stuff like the Arceus cards. All of those are beautiful. Um, there's a full art Arceus where it's like a pink background. There is a full art Charizard where it's like a blue and green background. I love both of those. And then there's some gold cards of the birds like Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos. They look insane, guys. So we got a Sneasel right here, a Clink, a Spirit Tomb, a Reverse, and a Clefable. So nothing there either, guys. That's okay. I'm calling it on this pack right here. We got our Arceus pack, pack number three. I'm using my call of the day, and I'm saying that we get a V-Star card. That's going to be my call, boys. Hopefully, we can get a V-Star. I don't think there's that many in the set list. I, I don't really know. But, guys, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff pre-ordered as well. So, um, some Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes. I have two or three of those on the way, which does include the set list. If y'all want to see those being open, subscribe to the channel right now. We got a huge giveaway coming up. But here we go, boys. We got a Lightning Energy, a Fracture, a Chef Master, a Gabite, a Staryu, a Burmy. Kind of looks like some ornaments on some trees. A Sock, Cherubi, a Rylu. Oh my God, what is going on, boys? This one has to be insanely hard to pull. There's only two of these in the entire set. We just got one. That is crazy, guys. Dude, look at that card. These are the brand new gold cards. Oh my God. 
Dude, what the heck? That one is so freaking cool, boys. Drop a like for that card right now. That one is super, super cool. I wish so bad that they put the Rayquaza and the Mew in here because they were supposed to be in this set. But um, unfortunately, we only got the Urshifus. I'm not like an insanely big fan of Urshifu, but nonetheless, guys, look at how beautiful that freaking card is. So definitely a nice hit right there. And then a Grimstar behind it. So you're telling me again that there could have been a hit in this slot. That's crazy, dude. So what, that that comes out of the uh, trainer gallery. What in the world? How is that in the trainer gallery? There's there's no trainer on this card. I don't really understand that. What's, what's going on there? But still super, super freaking cool. I just, how is this in the trainer gallery? That's bugging me. There's no trainer on this card, right? Unless I'm blind, let me know. Let me know guys, but that that's a super, super big hit. I'm sure that one's super hard to get. So definitely, definitely happy with that card. It's a beautiful gold card. I just want to take one more look at it real quick, guys. Look at this bottom right corner. I love all the color in that bottom right corner. That's super, super cool. Like the, the little bit of pink and blue down there. That's really cool. But here we go, guys. We got one last pack, and then I promise this long video will be over. This thing's a whole movie now, guys. So please, please, if you haven't already, drop a like for this video, guys. I had to edit it up twice, but yeah guys, I had to edit this video up twice, so that's not going to be fun. I've, I've done it once already, I'm about to do it again after this video, but here we go guys. Can we get one more hit out of the brand new set, Brilliant Stars? Four cards going to the front, turning it around, starting off with a Fighting Energy, the brand new beautiful energies, a Freshwater set, a Starmie on the beach, a Weevil, is he like climbing a skyscraper or something? Oh, I see. He's like sitting on the edge of something about to attack somebody. We got a Gibble, a Trap Pinch, a Cast Form in the Storm, a Throw, a Shroomish, a Reverse, and a Mewtwo. So not a bad ending right here with the Mewtwo. I saw somebody pull this card. I think this Mewtwo looks sick. Um, hopefully they have a hollow of this. That would be really cool. But yeah, boys, so we did get another big hit out of this one. We got a huge hit in the other box we opened. If y'all haven't seen that yet, go check it out. And um, yeah, boys, I will see y'all in the outro. Peace. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you love the new studio. I'm super happy with how everything is coming out. Uh, like I said, there's still some more stuff to do, and we've already spent over $2,000, guys, so I really do hope you like the new studio. All the openings should look sick here, and we started off with a banger ruski today, guys. Please, please, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. It will help me out a ton, and I put a lot of work into this, guys, over the past few months, so it would just mean a lot to me. Yeah, guys, I upload every single Monday and Thursday at 4 p.m., but yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video, which will be right here once again. Peace, guys. in the bag cause we trapping on the low what's up fool? Mm. Whoa. subscribe